Now with an ABC News exclusive, federal authorities now warning Americans to be on the lookout for scammers targeting them from overseas. Senior Justice Correspondent Pierre Thomas takes you inside what authorities say is one of the most intricate scams they've ever seen. You're going to see it unfold right before your eyes through videos that only we obtained. The product is real. You can actually see now. Here's 400 kgs of gold. That's the voice of a man we'll call Nick using his cell phone to capture his business trip to Africa. Like so many others, Nick fell for one of the most sophisticated and most convincing scams U.S. law enforcement has ever seen, allegedly made possible by the help of corrupt government officials in Liberia. It all started with this man, Cassell Quo, who was introduced to Nick several years ago. By all accounts, Quo was a Liberian success story founder of one of Liberia's preeminent soccer teams and a mine operator who claimed he had access to lots of gold. Nick, a businessman from Atlanta, was offered an opportunity to invest. But was it real? He emailed Quo, he researched Quo, and then he flew to Liberia. We're here in the office in, in, in uh, Liberia. Nick agreed to speak with us, but on the condition he not be identified. There's nothing like going and seeing a hundred million dollars worth of gold. There's nothing like it. I guess some people say heaven. Quo is now in a U.S. federal prison. He talked with ABC News exclusively, telling us the key to his scheme was that show he put on for Nick and so many others. What they see is unbelievable. The setup is very big. Those who traveled across oceans even got to test the gold, however they like. So they test all the gold. It's gold. It's pure gold. 96% purity. All the clients have to do, they're told, is pay for any cost and taxes needed to export the gold out of Africa. And then they can sell the gold and split the profits. People from all over the world jumped in. But Quo had a secret. The gold is not my gold. It's the government gold. His family's mine didn't produce much gold at all. So he said he paid Liberian government officials to let him use ministry gold as a prop for a day. There were actual government officials in Liberia who were involved in this scam. Quo also set up a fake website so clients could track their shipments. The website was constantly being updated with new stories, new reasons that clients needed to pay just a little bit more to help keep the shipment coming. Another snafu with customs, another certification required. The truth of the matter, there is no package. So we have to create new stories to get new money. You're so deep in, you've got to get out somehow. That's when I borrowed, you know, uh, money and brought in, you know, some other close friends and relatives. Nick ended up losing it all. Six, seven, maybe eight million dollars. And does it run the gamut of the kind of victims? Primarily professionals. These victims actually did their due diligence. It seemed so legitimate. Meanwhile, Quo became a rich man, traveling the world and living a life of luxury. But his whole charade ended nearly two years ago when federal authorities arrested him at the house he bought his family in North Carolina. No one else will be 15 miles by me. No one else. I'm so sorry. This man could cry on a drop of a dime for two or three days, if you like. This is how, this is how good Mr. Cassell is. Cole has since pleaded guilty to wire fraud conspiracy. His story is a cautious tale, and he told it to us, hoping for a reduced sentence. He ended up getting nearly seven years in prison and ordered to pay nearly $17 million in restitution. The Liberian embassy never responded to our request for comment. For Good Morning America, Pierre Thomas, ABC News, Washington. Oh, my heart breaks for those investors who think they're trying they're trying to build a future for their family. And they did the a research. Legacy. The government gold as the prop, you know, with the ability to sell it to people. I mean, he was a businessman too who lost seven, eight million dollars. This is, you know, I mean an incredible scam they had it is. Our thanks to Pierre Thomas for that Sick report. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.